I was checking on Spencer and I heard your voices. I didn't want you to wake him. Oh, okay. We'll be sure and keep our voices down. The lights. Yeah, um, I'm going to go check on Spencer real quick. Will you grab Emily an ice pack and some fresh towels, please? Certainly. Thank you. I will get you some pajamas as well. How's that? I really don't need to be waited on, you know. I know. It's been a long time since you've allowed me to do anything for you. So just let me do this, okay? I'm the definition of what not to do. If you think you have AIDS, I didn't get tested. I did everything to avoid it. And when I found out I was sick, it was too late to even use the drugs, even if I could afford them. Now I'm in stage, and I probably won't make it to Christmas. You might. Some of your numbers have improved. I'm toe stuck, let's face it. I'm like Robin, who has done everything right. Great medical care, all that good, clean living. There are no guarantees. She can end up right where I'm at. And where are you gonna be? Be uh, by your side? Somewhere way on down the road. AIDS. It's a scary business. No one can blame you if you can't deal. I'm a doctor. I can deal. It's different when you're in love with someone. I didn't say anything about love. You did. I obviously would never let Robin get to where you are. I wouldn't desert her. Because of obligation. Pity. Because she's Robin. And I care about her. Does she know that? My fear for Patrick is mostly irrational. He's on a drug protocol now that didn't even exist when Stone got sick. He's tested negative for HIV once, and of course he has to be tested again in another six months, but his prognosis is excellent. But all that aside, the look in his eyes, the fear, it's just like Stone. Have you told Patrick then? Well, he knows that my first love died of AIDS, and it's kind of insensitive of me to keep bringing it up. Yeah. But I have to say, I really admire the way he's dealing with this situation. No complaining, no feeling sorry for himself. He's grateful for the meds. He deals with the side effects. I mean, he's basically the same brilliant surgeon he's always been, just slightly less obnoxious. As long as he's not obnoxious to you, I'm all right. You know? <laughs> well, that's been the biggest revelation of all. When the going got tough, Patrick turned out to be noble and principled. He's actually over at the hospital right now because Miss Snead decided once again that April must be transferred to county. Tonight? I guess she figured that because of the blackout, nobody would notice. But Patrick's going to try and outmaneuver her. It's just the odds are against him. April Gilbert doesn't have insurance, and Miss Need is relentless. I hope Patrick tests negative again, but if he doesn't, at least he has used an example of how to live with HIV. You got a great life. Stone never had that. And he wouldn't want you to waste it. Maybe, maybe, uh, Stone is with us after all.